Hi, everybody. I just wanted to jump on live really quickly um, because I saw a question in our feed and I, it's just, it's a lot to write out and to help you articulate and understand the purpose behind leg extensions. Um, this is a question we get all the time and it's a really important thing to address in ACL rehab um, because there have been, there's been a history in terms of controversy regarding leg extensions. And I'm gonna go over why you should be doing leg extensions after ACL reconstruction. Let's start with two reasons why you should be doing leg extensions after an ACL reconstruction. One is we already know that the long-term functional outcomes are not great. There's been research that shows that only 55% of the people who have an ACL reconstruction actually return to sport. Two, re-injury is very common. And one in four people will, younger than 25 specifically have that risk, so a 25% risk of re-injury. Um, and whether that's the same side or the other side. Another thing that we do know is weakness of the quads the only muscles responsible for leg extensions is one of the biggest contributions to worse outcomes. So we're seeing that a lot of people are not getting very strong in their quads after ACL reconstruction, and that affects their outcome down the road and potentially even their re-injury risk, okay? Now, there has been controversy in the past, um, and I will say, if you look at that research from years ago, it was based on theory. There really wasn't, a, they weren't really able to articulate how much strain was actually being placed on the ACL, and it wasn't actually very thoroughly tested. Um, so, today's evidence, let's go over why leg extensions are absolutely safe after ACL reconstruction, and then go from there. Now, I have never seen anyone or heard of anyone tearing their ACL during a leg extension movement. And, you know, I imagine if I were to go to Google it, I probably wouldn't find it either on the internet. But there are a lot of examples that we do see people re-tearing their ACL because of weakness related to the quads. There has been studies that compared closed kinetic chain, which are like, closed kinetic chain are like squat movements, lunges, things like that, and compared it to open kinetic chain, like leg extensions. And they looked at laxity. They looked at just the stretch on the ACL. And there was at no point during any of those movements, there was no differences between the groups. They didn't see any increase in laxity in people who did um, meaning stretch. They, they didn't see that in people who did like extensions and they didn't see a whole lot of it in people who did like closed kinetic chain movements, like squatting movements where both legs are on the ground and in contact with something. But there's some really, really awesome researchers out there who looked into why we shouldn't be afraid of using leg extensions in our ACL rehab. And one, they wrote that it was safe. Two, they wrote that it was critical to restoring quad function and strength. And three, it was a key factor, a key player in ACL rehab to return to sport. So they, they encouraged clinicians, your physical therapists, and hopefully your surgeons to say, yes, please do leg extensions. Now, some people are a little bit skeptical in the early phase to start this. I always like to tell people, will you be able to go and max out on the leg extension at two weeks post-op? Absolutely not, right? Because, you know, you might be dealing with pain, you might be dealing with swelling, you might be dealing with like kneecap pain that when you go try to do it, it's not going to feel very good. But you might be able to move paperweight around and do a leg extension to a full ability without any pain and be really, really tired from that. But 
eventually you need to get to a point where you can load it. Um, but, you know, there's no data initially during early recovery to show that it really is bad for you, um, especially going through the full range, okay? But just like with any other exercise that we just understand, right? Like you might not be able to do a high amount of load once you first start, okay? Because you just generally have that weakness. You maybe have some pain. You may have some swelling still, but it is still possible. The other option is doing isometric holds. Isometric holds are also a good option. It's one of the options that I tend to use early on for my rehabbers um, where they sit into a leg extension machine or they use a really thick band and they work, they do an isometric, basically trying to push as hard or as tolerable as they can um, and hold it for time, hold it for 30 to 45 seconds. You know, it could be from a range between 45 and 90 degrees, depending on whatever is comfortable to them. Because again, it might be self-limiting because of symptoms that just don't feel good to you, okay? But those are things that I tend to get started on and it's a person-to-person -person basis, right? Um, and it depends on the extent of all that they had done. But I want to talk about that there has been research that compared um, strains of the ACL in different situations. So they looked at a leg extension, they looked at walking, they looked at running, um, and a couple other things. And they looked at, oh, going upstairs is another thing. The research has shown that you actually have greater strain on the ACL when you are walking compared to doing leg extensions. So that's something I want you to think about, okay? I don't want you to be nervous about walking now, but I just it just highlights that these are absolutely safe. Why? Because they're actually not putting as much strain on the ACL as was thought. So they're really, really safe to do. And if you're not doing them, I highly encourage you to do them. And if you need some guidance, just let us know. And we're happy, happy to provide any um, advice on that. But they're definitely effective, okay? A couple options like we talked about are leg extensions in the leg extension machine. The other option is doing isometrics in a shortened or lengthened position, which basically means you change the angle at which you're doing them and try to, over time, over 30 to 45 seconds, build up your force to whatever is tolerable and comfortable to you and build your confidence in being able to do a leg extension. It's really, really vital to make sure that you are loading the quads initially and so on and so forth throughout your ACL rehab because that is an indicator. That is something that we see contributes to, if you have weakness, it contributes to a lower functional outcome down the road and potentially can even increase your risk for re-injury. So in summary, leg extensions are absolutely safe and a vital component to your ACL rehab. They should be used soon after surgery to improve the short-term function, but also the long-term function as well, and reduce your re-injury risk. If you're worried about the strain on your ACL, you can choose, you can do isometrics until you build that confidence in yourself that you are, you know, and get the strength that way. It's a great option, but then eventually maybe work into doing leg extensions. Um, if your doctor or your physical therapist are strongly opposed to doing leg extensions and say that they are bad for you, please question them. And I hope that there is an open discussion with them about all of these things and even some of the things that I mentioned here. Um, and bring the research to them. Question it, have an open discussion, and if they are not willing to provide this to you in in your rehab because they are strongly opposed to him, I really encourage you to reach out for a second opinion um, because frankly, we need to make sure that we are doing everything possible to ensure that you don't go through this again and that you do it the right way. And the best way to truly work on isolated quad strength is by isolating it through some form of leg extensions. So they're not dangerous 
and there's plenty of research out there to support that you should be doing this. And honestly, it's probably more harmful to you and detrimental to you if you do not incorporate them into your ACL rehab. So I'm Dr. Mika Riley here at MoveMend Rehab and Performance Headquarters. I'm happy to have a conversation and consult you on this if you're concerned um, or if you want to take a dive um, based on your situation. Sign up for a free consult. I'm happy to help in any capacity that I can. Um, and stay tuned.